Why invest anywhere but the best? We've picked out our property hotspots for 2022 and we're going to share them with you right now. Where should you be investing in property in 2022? In this video, we are going to give you our picks from the safest of safe bets to the wildest of wild cards. Rob, let's start with those safe bets. And the first of those is about as safe as it gets and the best performer of last year. That's Liverpool. Yes, Liverpool is top of the league when it comes to best performing cities of 2021. And we expect Liverpool to do very well in 2022. In fact, Liverpool has been in our safe bets category for a few years now, but rightly so, because Liverpool, even with all this growth, is still in the top 10 most affordable cities in England. And of those top 10 cities, it is the largest city in that group. So it's a major city with multiple universities, great transport links, close to Manchester, which may get mentioned shortly, wait and see, its own airport. I mean, let's face it, there's loads going on for Liverpool. There's loads and loads and loads, and it's still affordable, which is great news for people who want to live and buy there, but also makes it interesting for property investors. So Liverpool now is one of those cities that property investors feel very comfortable with. A few years ago, they didn't. When we first mentioned Liverpool to everybody, I probably made a few eyebrows raise. But now the majority of people listening to this podcast will be comfortable with the notion of that Liverpool is a great place to invest. And we think it's going to be a great place to invest for the foreseeable future. You could say similar for our next pick, which is Manchester. Again, we started talking about Manchester, what, about five years ago, maybe more. And at the time, it seemed a bit strange. But over the last few years, Manchester has gone mainstream and it's been right up there near the top of the table for capital growth. Last year, it wasn't absolute top. That honour went to Liverpool, but it still put on very healthy growth of 8.5%. So is there still value in Manchester? Well, yes, there is. When you're talking about Manchester, you could be talking about a couple of different things. There's Greater Manchester, the whole of the metro area, where there is definitely value to be had. But then there's also the city centre. And even though the city centre has put on a huge amount of growth in the last couple of years, I believe that there is still scope for more growth in Manchester city centre as a result for a theme that we're going to see in 2022, which is the return to cities. Now, the exodus from cities was the big story for about 18 months. I believe we're now seeing that trend reverse. And I think Manchester city centre, in terms of both rents and capital values, is going to be a beneficiary of that. So if you're talking safe bets, Manchester has got to be on that list. Another city we're a big fan of for property investment is Nottingham. And actually, we're just a big fan of Nottingham in general because it's a wonderful city again great universities really well located within the uk in terms of its transport links to other places great employment prospects for people who want to live and work in nottingham but yeah it just doesn't get the attention it deserves and even after it grew by 8.1 in 2021 so a really strong year for nottingham but it's not a place you hear people talking about that often as a place to invest But Nottingham is an affluent city with great prospects, but the prices are still reasonable. So even though Nottingham did have a great year in 2021, we expect Nottingham to continue to have great growth in 2022 and possibly beyond. Our final safe bet is Leeds. Leeds, again, another city we've been talking about for a long time, but there's no reason to change that because the investment thesis is still there. It's still got great universities. It's still got good transport links. It's still got a really diverse range of major employers and more employers moving to Leeds all the time. And it remains relatively affordable. Now, last year, Leeds didn't do quite as well as we thought it would be. That tells you something about last year, the fact that it did 7 0.2% annual growth and that wasn't as good as we thought it would be relative to other cities. So how will Leeds do this year? Will it be up there in the top three or four? Well, maybe it will, maybe it won't, but it's certainly going to be somewhere up there. It's certainly going to be strong and it's certainly going to continue to do well for years to come. And that is why Leeds is firmly in our safe bets category. So they're your safe bets, the places that you'll feel comfortable investing in or should feel comfortable investing in. And the next part of our list is what we're calling up and comers. Now, we're investing in these areas and we think these places are a great place to invest but they are the new kids on the block people haven't been talking about these areas either at all or for that long so you may feel like you're being brave going into these areas but we think actually these are good solid investment areas and first on the list is sheffield now sheffield we listed as a one to watch last year and well it was certainly worth watching in fact it was probably worth investing in because sheffield last year finally started to move 
and it grew by 8%. Now, Sheffield wasn't up there. Now, at 8% growth, according to HomeTrack, that puts it as the fourth best performing city in 2021. But before 2021, Sheffield was hardly moving. So this ride has just begun for Sheffield. Again, affordability levels are really good. Great universities, great transport links, great prospects. So Sheffield rightly deserves your attention, but is definitely not being talked about right now and is a great option for property investors in 2022. We also had Belfast as one to watch last year, and we're feeling even more confident about Belfast now as a result of the 7.2% growth that it put on last year. Belfast is an interesting place because the last crash hit house prices hard. It fell further than almost anywhere else, and it's taken a long time for prices to come back. That's partially because the crash was so painful for the city, partially, I'm sure, because of all the Brexit uncertainty as well. But now, pretty confident in saying that Belfast is on the way back. Very similar to Liverpool. It's a major city with great people, with loads going on, that is still extremely affordable. So whether it puts on its big growth spurt this year or next year or a bit further into the future, hard to say, but you certainly don't need to be as brave to invest in Belfast now as you did a few years ago. But over the coming years, if you do invest there, we believe that you'll be well rewarded. Another city that was in our one to watch list last year that we've upgraded to an up and comer that you probably should be comfortable investing in by now is Derby. Now, Derby isn't in the home track report of the top 20 cities. So we haven't got the data from home track, but according to the land registry, Derby is up 10.7% year on year, according to the latest data we have, which puts it up there with Liverpool. But it's no surprise, and that's why we listed it as a one to watch last year. And now we believe it's an up and comer that you should be comfortable investing in. Because the average wage in Derby is amongst the highest in the UK, while it remains one of the most affordable cities in the UK. It's a mismatch that won't last for much longer. So it's no surprise that Derby has seen double digit growth. Now, Derby's starting to get attention, and that attention will turn into mass attention soon because you can't get away with having double-digit growth and the majority of investors ignoring it for much longer. So while it may not be mentioned as often as the likes of Liverpool or Manchester, it should be on your radar because while it's seen double-digit growth last year, we wouldn't expect if the same happened again this year or close to it at least. So we've given you our safe bets. We've talked about our up and comers. But what if you want to live on the edge? What if you're feeling a bit braver? Well, we've got a couple for you in that category as well. What's up first, Rob? So up first is Newcastle. Now, this is for the brave or what we used to call ones to watch. So we're not saying go and invest in Newcastle now, but we're saying pay attention to it and maybe invest in Newcastle if after your research you feel comfortable. Now, like our list last year of ones to watch, Newcastle isn't at the moment performing, and it grew by 5.3% last year. Now, in isolation, that's a great level of growth, but when you compare it to places like Liverpool and Derby, which doubled that performance, well then you're really costing yourself if you're investing a place with 5% growth when you can get 10% elsewhere. So why is Newcastle here? Well, Newcastle is a major city. It's the unofficial capital of the Northeast. It has, again, a great university, it has great transport links, and it has lots of employment prospects. But yet, prices are subdued and have been subdued for a while. But affordability levels are still very good in Newcastle. So while we're not saying move all your portfolio to Newcastle and buy everything you can there, what we are saying is pay attention to it. Because when you've got great fundamentals, great affordability, but yet house prices haven't moved up yet, well, that doesn't tend to last for too long. So whether it's this year or next, we expect Newcastle to start moving soon. The other entry in this category is for very different reasons, and that is London. Now, based on the 18-year property cycle, you would not be expecting to go into London at the moment. London had extraordinary growth in the first phase of the cycle. It outpaced the rest of the country. It led the way. And as a result, it became pretty unaffordable, which will not come as news to anyone who's living in London. Over the last few years, London has slowed down dramatically and the rest of the country has started to catch up, which is exactly what you would expect to happen and what we said would happen. Growth in cities in the north and the Midlands has been outpacing London for the last couple of years. And according to what the cycle would predict, we would expect that to continue. However, it's a little bit different this time around for a few reasons. Firstly, London has done so relatively poorly for the last few years and wages have increased, there may now be room for it to grow. 
The second reason is a theme that I mentioned earlier, the return of city living. London will be a beneficiary of that, and we're already seeing that in the rental market, which could be a leading indicator. And thirdly, London will benefit from the world opening up again, which hopefully is something that's going to happen this year. That means students returning to London, tourism returning to London, and driven by all of that, as well as its reputation as a safe haven. London will continue to benefit from international investment, which is such a powerful driver for the city. As a result, do we expect to see London being right up there in terms of capital growth? No. Can you say that there's great value in London? No, you can't. But as a long-term, super safe investment location, London is hard to beat. And there may this year be a decent entry point. So if you are interested in having properties in London in your portfolio, worth keeping an eye on in 2022. And finally, we have a super wild card. Now, we are not at all suggesting you invest in this area. But as property investors, it might be interesting to observe what happens in this area in 2022, because the place we are talking about is Aberdeen. Now, for those of you who keep on top of house price movement as as we do, you will know that of the home track report of the 20 cities in the UK, Aberdeen is the worst performing. Over the last 12 months, and the previous 12 months before that. It's done awful. In fact, it's done so bad that while every other city in the list has grown to some level over the last 12 months, Aberdeen has actually fallen. So why on earth would you want to keep an eye on it? Well, Aberdeen is mainly impacted by oil prices because it is an oil city. And at the moment, we are seeing high inflation. And when you have high inflation, one of the things that goes up in price is oil. So if oil does continue to rise in value, which it did throughout 2021, if that trend continues in 2022, then it may impact house prices in Aberdeen. Now, you shouldn't speculate to that level and go and invest in Aberdeen if you believe that oil prices are going to continue to go up. You should just invest in oil. But as a place to observe, because it just operates independently from the rest of the UK in terms of how the property prices are impacted, then from a curiosity point of view, it's worth keeping an eye on. But to repeat, we are not saying invest there. Just that if you are a bit of a property geek and you like to observe these type of things and watch what happens in these markets, then keep an eye on it in 2022. But there are plenty of other places on this list that you should be investing in before you get even close to investing in Aberdeen. Well, there you go. Those are our hotspots for 2022. You've got everything from the safest of bets to the wildest of wild cards. But I'll finish by giving the caveat that we give every year. And we do it because every year people ignore it and come a cropper as a result. Just because we believe a city will do well, even if that city does do well, doesn't mean that you could do well if you just turn up and buy any random property in that location. Yes, if you pick an area that is on the up you are stacking the deck in your favor but buying the right investment is still absolutely critically important we're talking about some big areas here even the smallest cities on our list are big places there'll be good areas to invest there'll be bad areas to invest and even within the good areas there'll be good deals and there'll be bad deals so do not let this be the end of your research let this be the start. Let this be a guide. Let this steer you in the right direction to the places where you have the best chance of making the right investment. From there, there's still a lot of work to do. But we believe that if you pick any of the places on our list, you're giving yourself the best possible chance of doing very well this year. So there you have it. You have all the hotspots for 2022. But the great thing about YouTube is lots of people have opinions and you may agree. And if you do, let us know which of those places excites you the most. But if you feel you disagree with any of those places, let us know as well. Or is there somewhere we've missed? We read every single comment. So let us know your opinion on the best places to invest in 2022. And make sure you subscribe if you are new to this channel, because we have loads of other great videos like this one and you do not want to miss out.